Hey guys, what's up? It's Meredith and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my goals for 2019 and I really liked watching these videos last year so it kind of inspired me to make some of my own for this year and also I feel like if I film this and put it out on the internet for everyone to see that it's going to force me to actually follow through with these goals. So with that being said, let's get right into my goals for 2019. Okay, and also as I say each goal, I'm going to try my best to explain to you guys how I plan to actually do that goal. So I'm not just saying like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I'm actually going through the steps of how I'm going to accomplish that goal. So my first goal is to eat in more, and I'm going to accomplish this by making my grocery lists like better in depth because I feel like when I would go to the grocery store, I'd get like a bunch of stuff that I eat but then like when it would come time to make meals I wouldn't have like all the ingredients to make meals so I'm gonna try to like plan my grocery list around the ingredients that I need for like certain meals throughout the week and I did that this past week and it actually has been working pretty well I had taco bowls last night and I have enough left over to have it for lunch sometime and I have some buffalo chicken salad stuff stuff for fajitas stuff for spaghetti so I'm uh, doing pretty well with it so far, so good. Okay, so my second goal kind of ties into my first goal and it is getting better at grocery lists and wasting less food. And I made that a goal because this past semester has been my first time ever buying groceries for myself really because last year I lived in a dorm so I ate dining hall food and then the year before that I lived with my parents so my parents were the ones buying the groceries. So this past semester I've learned a lot about the food that I eat constantly and then the food that kind of ends up being wasted and thrown away. So. Like there's things like bread, like my roommate is gluten free so we don't share bread obviously because she can't have it. So bread is something that I would waste a lot of just because it would go bad so quick and I was the only one eating it and then what else did I kind of waste? Sometimes I wasted like avocados if I didn't eat them in time. So just stuff like that, being more mindful of what I'm actually going to eat and if I do buy it then use it. So that's my second goal. Okay, my next goal is to be more present in the moment and that's a goal that I've been working on for about a year actually and I just kind of want to maintain this um, frame of mind and that's because about a year ago, maybe a little less than a year ago, I was like really focused on social media and it was just kind of like really draining and kind of bad for me. Like I wasn't in the best part of my relationship with my boyfriend because I was too focused on my phone, too focused on social media and things that didn't matter. So I really, really spent this summer um, putting the phone down more and being more present in the moment. And social media is something that is important to me. It's something I really love. It's a passion of mine and making YouTube videos is a passion of mine, but that stuff kind of like took over my life. And it's just something that I want to be a part of my life, not to be like my life so I really kind of whipped myself into shape this past summer and I think I've been doing it really well with it one of the things I've done is to like not even look at it um, when I go out to eat with my boyfriend and that one is kind of a given but like I used to always just be on my phone so it's a really bad habit and I'm just gonna continue to try to get better okay so my next goal is to become more organized and by this I mean kind of like in every sense besides my house because my house I feel like is really organized I like my room clean I like my house clean like my house is very organized um, I'm pretty organized with schoolwork I'm pretty good at deadlines but places I can get more organized is like in my car my car gets very messy and then also I can always improve to get more organized with my schoolwork um, I've always been pretty good at getting schoolwork done on time and efficiently but that's just something that I want to continue to get better at. Okay so my next goal is to do my best as marketing VP for my sorority Alpha Phi and I'm sure a few of you guys know this but I was elected the vice president of marketing for Alpha Phi this fall and it my term like fully starts this January so it's already started but I kind of took over um, towards like 
the beginning of December. So yeah, I am in charge of the social media, the merchandising and parents and alumni. And then I have a few directors under me that will help me with that. But I just wanna make our social media the best that it can be and make our merch the best it can be and just kind of fulfill my job and my duties. And I'm really, really excited about it because as some of you know, marketing is my major. So this is just kind of my nick and I'm really excited to be doing it. So I just wanna do the best that I can this year. So that's one of my goals. And my next goal is very relevant and it is to be more consistent on YouTube. I know when school gets busy, I kind of get more focused on school and obviously school is going to be more important at the end of the day but making YouTube videos is also really important to me it's something I like to do it's a little creative outlet for me and you guys seem to like it so I want to get more consistent and just post more videos and hopefully I will do that by kind of like making a guideline of upcoming videos that I want to film and stuff like that and also I have this ring light now so it's going to be a lot easier to be filming like at whatever time because yeah, it's six o'clock. It is pitch black out. I would never be able to film at this hour if I didn't have the ring light. So this ring light is going to really help me become more consistent on YouTube. So that is one of my goals. I'm hoping to post every single week. That's not that hard. Maybe two. I mean, I'm posting one tonight, um, my Mexico vlog, and then I have this one that will be going up within the next couple of days. And then I have another one lined up. So I think the key is to kind of just like film as many videos as I can and then the editing process is pretty quick so that's one of my goals and that's how I'm going to accomplish it. Okay so my next goal is to be more mindful of what I eat and this is something that's been on my goals for the past couple of years. It's something I'm always thinking about. Being mindful of what I eat is really important to me and the way I'm going to accomplish this is by buying healthier snacks because I'm someone that snacks all day. I'm always eating snacking constantly throughout the day like every two hours i'm eating something so by buying healthier snacks is a good way to just make sure that i'm getting healthy foods into my body opposed to buying goldfish and gushers and <laughs> only eating that all day because if i could i totally would so i'm gonna try to buy healthier snacks so that when i am in a snacky mood i'm at least getting something healthy in my body okay so my next goal is to keep exercise a priority even when things get crazy and I have this as a goal. Obviously, you guys know that I do go to the gym a couple times a week and fitness is important to me. But I have this as a goal for 2019 just so I can maintain it in my life the way it is right now. And sometimes when things get crazy, whether with school or work or alpha fee, I kind of take a step back and um, take less sessions with my trainer and I'm not going to the gym as much, which is just overall bad for me because going to the gym is what clears my mind and kind of gets me back into like a clear headset. So I don't know why I do that because it's overall just like not going to help the situation. I think sometimes I think I don't have enough hours in the day to like go to the gym, which is sometimes true, but I'm just going to try my best to keep going to the gym even when things get crazy so that my mental health is healthy. <laughs> that makes any sense? My next goal is to keep my relationship happy and healthy and I obviously have a happy and healthy relationship but it's just something that I want to continue to maintain for 2019 and ways I'm going to accomplish this is just to keep communicating, keep life fun. I mean I think sometimes when relationships get boring and like there's nothing new going on that it's easy to fight so it's always nice to surprise your significant other or just like do something nice for them even if it's just like making their bed or making them breakfast just like kind of little things like that that makes their day easier i think that's always something that really helps us like when i'm stressed out about something and jeff like cleans up my room or cleans up my house or does something like that that's something that like really just <laughs> that's my love language a clean house is my love language so just like kind of small things like that um are really good for my relationship so I want to continue to keep our relationship happy and healthy and I'm just gonna continue to do what we've been doing um, and just surprise your significant other every once in a while make their day easier if they're having a bad day those are how I like to do it I don't know what works for your guys's relationship but that's what worked for us so yeah Okay, so I only have a couple goals left, but my next one is to trust in God more because I'm a control freak. And the way I'm going to do this is like when I'm just stressed and things aren't going my way because I'm the type of person that like 
likes to plan everything out and if it doesn't go according to plan I freak out so I'm just gonna kind of like give it to God you know what's that saying let go let God so if I'm freaking out about something not going right then I'm just gonna remember that God has a plan for me God's gonna bring me through whatever's going on and in the end of the day I'm going to be okay my next goal is to be a better student and this one's a little self-explanatory some things that I'm going to try to do are I think something that's good for me is studying in the library like not studying at home because I get really distracted so I'm gonna try to do my schoolwork at school so I don't get easily distracted and also just kind of keeping communication with my professors so I kind of have a good whatever you want to call it, a good relationship with them because I feel like if you're actively like communicating with your professors about your grade and just like stuff coming up then they're gonna kind of take you seriously because you're taking their course seriously so that's a couple of the things I'm gonna do to become a better student okay so my last goal for 2019 is to attend more workout classes at the university and I have this as a goal because you guys know I have a trainer and that's my favorite way to work out with a trainer because I've had him for years and years. We're really close. It's just always what I've done. But I actually really enjoy workout classes too and this is something I kind of forgot about because when I went to the university I went to a lot of workout classes just because I didn't have my trainer down there and I just work out better with someone like telling me what to do and just having like a set time frame because I feel like if I went to the gym on my own, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna work out. I'd leave after like 25 minutes. So I just do better when I have someone telling me what to do and knowing that I have to be there for a certain period of time. So I actually went to a Zumba class here at the University of Maine with my sorority the other day and it was so much fun and I forgot how much I liked it. I think I'm gonna try to take more of those classes and I actually like taking them with friends so I have a ton of sisters, I have other friends outside of my sorority, so I don't think it will be hard to find someone to go with, but yeah, I think that's going to be really fun and I think I'm going to enjoy it. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. <sighs> I am not going to lie, this video was so hard to film. Well, not just like this video, but today I am just not good in front of the camera for some reason. I'm uncomfortable, um, choking on my words, I'm stuttering all the time, I filmed a different video today I filmed the outro for another video and I just like have not been good in front of the camera today and this video took me like an hour to film when it should have taken me like 30 minutes max so I'm sorry if I'm like weird in this video because I don't know I took so many like extra takes of everything I said just because I was so awkward so I'm sorry if you guys think I'm a little weird in this video it's because I am I don't know where my brain is today but it's not with me but with that being said, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video, which is going to be very exciting. So turn on my post notifications because I think you're really going to like my next video. See, I just tripped over my word. Oh my God. I have to go. Bye.